Welcome to Bloom Yoga with Terry Hooker. Let's begin our practice in a comfortable seated position, taking a few deep breaths. We'll begin our Hatha Yoga basics today with some Kundalini Yoga Kriyas. Warming up the spine and preparing the body for practice. Our first Kriya is Sufi grind or a gentle rotation of the torso. Make a gentle circular motion. You can connect with the breath. Inhale coming forward and exhale sweeping back. And just follow along with whatever degree of movement is comfortable for your body. If you're just waking up, take a gentle approach. Allow the body to warm gently and naturally preventing injury. And reversing direction whenever it feels right for you as well. And our next posture is Take the hands to the shin and inhale, draw the chest forward and up and exhale, rounding the spine and chin drops towards the chest. Like a seated version of cat-cow posture. Just continue to flow, waking up the thoracic spine, bringing some levity and energy into the core of the body. And returning to center, we'll begin a twist. Draw the left arm across to the right knee and twisting. And then releasing and switching sides. Inhale, we elongate the spine and exhale, twisting a little deeper. And coming back to center here, begin to Move the neck side to side, chin to chest, whatever feels right for loosening up the neck and head and shoulders. Maybe making gentle circles and changing directions whenever is comfortable. Coming back to center, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, and exhale, draw the hands into the chest. And we'll do that a few times.
and again returning to center and now folding forward into the lap and hold and relax let everything go And then switching sides. So inhale, we rise up, switch the cross in the legs, and then fold forward again into the lap. Inhaling, rise up. And we'll come off of our seats here and move into an all fours position. Continuing our warm up with cat cow. We inhale, drop the chin or drop the chest, lift the chin, and exhale round the spine. Chin comes to chest, and continue to just flow with the breath. Inhale, arch and lift and exhale, draw it in. Our next posture is Anahatasana, and beginning on all fours, we come down onto our forearms, walk the elbows forward a few inches, and then lower the forehead down to the mat between the elbows, and relax through the shoulders, upper back, mid back, and lower back. Just let everything melt down towards the mat. Continue with breath, awareness, and relax. And when you're ready, we'll rise on up and moving towards downward facing dog with an inhale we shift the weight forward to plank posture shoulders come over the hands and exhale, press it back. And shift the weight to the left foot. Now inhale, lift the right leg up, press back through the ankle. And exhale, draw it into the chest, shift the weight forward to plank. Inhale, press it back one more time. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, press it back. And then bring it down to the mat, we'll switch sides. Lift the left leg with an inhale. Exhale, draw it in a few times here. And whenever you're ready, we'll come back to center. Drop the knees down to the mat. And gently make your way to standing here. Come to the front of the mat. We're going to begin sun salutations. Standing with arms at the sides and inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, fold at the waist, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank and lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale for a back bend and exhale, downward facing dog. Use modifications, use your knees, use low cobra. Whatever you need to be comfortable in this sequence. Hold the down dog for several breaths. And then with an exhale, we shift our weight forward, step or hop the feet up, and inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold, and inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms meet overhead, and exhale, hands to the heart. And sitting down for Utkatasana, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, lift halfway and exhale. Hands down, step it back, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale for a back bend and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, left ankle down and inhale, warrior one and exhale, lower down again, flow through the vinyasa and meet in downward facing dog. Left side comes forward, inhale, sweep it up for warrior one on the left side, flow with the breath, exhale, lowering down chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Check in with your alignment here as we hold for a few breaths. Root down through the palms, through the fingers, base of the thumb, and rebound up through the sit bones, releasing down through the ankles. And step it up when you're ready here. Inhale, we rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. And inhale, return to Utkatasana. Sweep the arms up and exhale, release hands to the heart. We're going to begin again here. Inhale Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up halfway and exhale, step it back, lower down. And flow through the vinyasa, meeting again in downward facing dog. And moving into the right side, warrior one. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands down, flowing through the vinyasa. And we exhale here for downward facing dog and immediately draw the left leg forward and inhale, sweep it up. Warrior one, arms alongside the ears and flow with the breath, exhale down. Up dog and meet in down dog, press it back. Steady breath, steady attention. We hold for five breaths usually in the sun salutation B. When we're ready, step it up with an exhale. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. And inhale for chair pose. Exhale, release. Stand upright, hands to the heart. And beginning again, inhale. Chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, lift. And exhale, hands down and flowing through the vinyasa again. Exhale, meeting in downward facing dog. And inhale, right side warrior one. Just keep flowing through the vinyasa here. Should become familiar with the pattern. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog, and step it up, left side, warrior one. And last time through the vinyasa here, lowering down. Meeting in downward facing dog. Steady breath. And step it up. Inhale, lift halfway through the crown. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise up. Now we're going to step the right foot back about three feet for a warrior two alignment. Heel the arch alignment. Heel the front goes through the arch of the back foot bend into the front knee and straighten the front leg here for triangle as we reach out with the front arm and then lower the left arm down to the shin or mat for triangle. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, reverse. And extended side angle, left elbow to left knee and sweep the right arm up alongside the ears. 
continue flowing here. Take the bind if you wish. Right arm wraps around the back and left arm binds underneath the left thigh. Inhale for warrior two. Exhale reverse and sweep it down for the vinyasa. Up dog and downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up, step it through and left ankle rotates down for warrior two on the left side. Sweep it up in reverse and then straighten the front leg for triangle. Reach out with the right arm for triangle. Inhaling, return to warrior two. Reverse, right arm comes up to the ceiling. And triangle again as we reach out towards the front wall. And lowering the right arm down to the ankle. Inhale for warrior two and extended side angle. Right arm to right knee and left arm sweeps up alongside the ear. Find the bind if that's there for you and in your practice, hold steady, steady concentration. Steady breaths. Releasing here, let's come back into extended side angle and then return to warrior two. Exhale, reverse, and cartwheel the hands down to the front foot, release flow through the vinyasa and meet up in downward facing dog steady breaths steady concentration and release down onto your knees now and rest in child's pose so we just run through a quick and energizing hatha yoga basics routine And when you're ready, we'll sit up and come to a seated posture, ending our practice with a few moments of quiet meditation. Thank you for joining me here at bloomyoga.org. Namaste.